Well, some say sex sells, and in that case, the knowledge is free 99. I lay wigs and bitches, so don't play. You gotta be quick when you enter my court. Next. I'm gonna acquire taste, so if you don't like it, acquire some taste. I am not here for the mess, shade, or drama. I just want more comedy. I'm the royal king of this castle. situations where I really you you just don't know what you're gonna do until you end that situation the thing I hate the most is it was people from my community that I was in this situation with I found myself like trying to help someone and in turn you know they turned on me so it was just like very it was a very like traumatic experience. A person asked for a ride, somebody in the community. And was like, you know, they were at the hospital in the emergency room. So it seemed like it was, you know, emergency. somebody you knew. Yeah, um, it was a person, the guy, like, I met him actually. We met, we stayed in the, um, we didn't stay in the same apartment complex, we stayed in the same community. Um, so, yeah, and he hung out with some of the, same people I knew. So actually the trans girl that was in with him when I picked him up. Okay. Yes, I know you had your share with oh, the 
Alright, trans community. So, yeah. The trans girl that was with him on that night, you know, I know her from. Birmingham is a very small thing. So it's like, yeah. Okay. And I'm a person in the community, you know, my face is kind of like, no. So I know people. And I do my job in doing like those things. So it's like, no, but no strange today. But it was just an unfortunate situation where I feel like, you know, um, people were kind of going through their own trials and tribulations and as an effect on that, it just kind of trickled down to me and I was kind of collateral damage. Um, but it, those situations really like make it hard for me to, like I'm like, you know, and be vulnerable in this community because it's like, here I am, I'm the myself out there for not only myself, but just for the community. It was like, the community is what caused the harm. So, was he gay? Because I know that you could the guy gay. Yeah, so I think, well, I don't know if his family knew he was gay or not, but, um, pray to They definitely knew after, <laughs> after this situation. To leave my house with my car, sitting outside and to like come home without it, it, it was, it's, it's asinine. It was four days had passed and then news articles start to come out that these people committed another carjacking miles away in another city in Alabama and they robbed the lady for her BMW at gunpoint. Me put myself in a position to be a help cause me to kind of go through a storm. Um, outside of like media, I do like a lot of stuff really going in private and like um, public health, HIV, all of those things. But um, on my, upon my return to Birmingham, you know, going back, cause this is. I kind of felt in a sense that I had failed a little bit, like, you know, losing the opportunity to chase an Atlanta and then um, having to go back to Birmingham, dealing with a lot of stuff going on there. Um, I kind of felt like I had failed a little bit, but I feel like, you know, it was good that I got a chance to reset, rebound, refocus, and actually, while I was in Birmingham, I was working on my own um, projection. So, yeah. I remember talking about it on the phone. Yes, made in Birmingham. So, how did that go and still working on it? Um, so, we kind of pretty much wrapped due to really everything that was going on with like COVID. Yes. I'm going to do some cheers to you because it's so funny for me now to see you in the place where we first met. Yeah. Which was in the green screen, and now you're going to be sitting. And then in the chair. <laughs> So I'm excited to see it. And if you know if you need me to support anything, just to hear anything, or if you do throw an event, you can invite me. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, uh, you know, I got different, some different projects I'm working on. So I know you got some connections. So I do like hook you up about that, connecting me with some people. But, uh, yeah. I actually uh, got a little, uh, little play day. I played a later tonight. Where y'all going? Got a McDonald's playhouse. You know, some of the things. You know, while they're wrong, do it's the wrong things, you know. Like you know. Dating and my love life and what's going on. Like, I should have known, you know. It wouldn't have been Akeem if he didn't, you know, get a look messy, per se. But yeah, oh, no, it's, it's so weird. I mean, we've actually known each other before I moved to Atlanta, so, you know, I'm just kind of, I'm feeling things out. I'm, I'm a, I'm a Southern, I'm a Southern guy, so I like to court and like, you know, let's go on court. Let's go on, like, oh, you know, like the court. <laughs> what? <laughs> So I'm just like, you know, I'm actually kind of enjoying someone's time. I've been kind of courting. I like to court, you know, I'm, I'm a Southern, Southern gentleman. So um, I'm kind of courting someone and I've been having a good time getting to know this person, but 
my options are open. I'm single. Um, I'm in a new city. I've heard the curse of Atlanta. And Akeem is like, you know, it's not the Atlanta people. It's the people from out of town. I beg to differ, like, you know. So, I'm here. And if I find love, I'm open to it, you know. Forever. I know, I know. You can um, find the spot anywhere. I see that. I show you. What would you want to see? Actually, let's go in the living room. What's up, everyone? This is Jamie Allen. You may know me from the Greater AIDS campaign. I'm on billboards. I'm on murder buses. Anywhere you see me in Atlanta or the uh, state of Georgia region, you'll see my face. I'm also in a fraternity, Delta Phi Upsilon Fraternity Incorporated, the world's first, or the nation's first LGBT organization for gay men. Um, and I have a nonprofit, which is Empowering Brothers Incorporated. Um, we do No Netflix, Just Chill, which is really, really popular here in the Atlanta area. And so, yeah, that's Jamie in a nutshell. Good. I'm trying not to um, go crazy at work and stuff. I miss that. So, yeah, I don't know. organizations is one of my own. I'm meeting with my fraternity brother, Aaron of Delta Phi Upsilon Fraternity Incorporated. And so we just wanted to plan out the rest of the year, get some programs going. And yeah, I wanted to call him up. He is my vice president and he's a really, really good friend of mine. So. Oh, well, bitch, I ain't getting no, um. I, th I thought you was on your trip. I thought you was on your trip. Oh, last weekend. Yeah, I was in Tennessee last weekend. That's right. Oh, that's right. It was cool. Um, So we just ended up doing a friend friends giving up there. Um, me and some other friends or whatever. Um, I think shit. Because they had a um they had a menu like one night you told me like seafood the other night um like we were kind of on house but we was in the town and I got some food. And last night um one of our friends his girlfriend cooked and so it was already like it was like damn so the power did go out. <laughs> no, no, no store. They power went out because I don't know how the power went out. Like I know, like it kept flickering on and off, like the power was flickering on and off, um, like throughout the night. And we like, ah, Jason's coming to challenge. Mind you, mind you, their beers, snakes. Like I actually know, I actually went to the airport for our Father's Day for 2022. Okay, you know they talk about Father's Day 2021. Not they told us that it What's not happening? They said they're still coming though. They can't. I said, have fun. Enjoy yourself. I hope you find something to <laughs> say. <laughs> Don't find something to know where. That's right. They can come home, but um, we're not going to finish. You know? Um, but yeah. Um, so I wanted to actually do some planning. Oh. Like a little planning for at least the first part of 2021. Mm -hmm. um, and I got everything you need. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am a dancer. I am a event 
producer, I work in wardrobe, I am a philanthropist, I am <laughs> the baddest thing ever did. I do it for the girls from Kane. Um, you know, it's just a lot of things, and if you watch the show, we want to really stay tuned. Corday, he's an actor and a model. He's someone who, you know, we've known each other for quite some time. Um, I also know his sister. He's just a good friend of mine. So when he was like, you know, he's in town, I was like, okay, this is perfect. I'm actually going out because he likes to hike and stuff, and I knew that. So I was like, hey, I'm going to Stone Mount. A lot of people haven't been there. He hasn't been there. So I was like, do you want to join me? We love a little lunch, child. This giving Charlene. You know Charlene. who that is? <laughs> you know something about Russia. The lady who we, No. <laughs> The lady, she was like, Donald Trump, the old lady who we went to church. Oh, shoot. yeah, okay. <laughs> she did a little strict. Really <laughs> That's the lady, the Christy, Christy show. Christy show, yes. But you know, her character, one of them is Charlene. Then she got the other one, it's called, so she be cross eyed. She's like, mm -hmm. friend. <laughs> and she got the one she like the news lady. Yes, yeah, Karen or something like that. Then she got Dr. Jen or something. Yeah, I'm she's like, she's she so funny. My pants You do know when you work out outside? I don't really There's work at outside. <laughs> the little dust might fly up on the clothes. No, this is like white stuff. It's okay. It ain't the white stuff the other girls are taking, so. All right, you, you know, yep, that is what's going on here. I'm gonna finish taking it up this hill. Yes. Clear my mind. A little more meditation. Um, you definitely gotta come and do yoga with me one of these times, you know. Next time I come back. Yeah. It's a little cold. I don't know if I'm gonna even make it to the yoga. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna do the meditation for sure. Yeah, do that. Do that. And get my mind right from this so week that I had and have a good positive week coming up. So that's all I'm gonna do. But, um, uh -uh. Mm -hmm. this is, ah, you can wash these. Yes, you can wash I can't put these in my washer. Wrap them in your baby, I'm in love. Love it, got you running. Here's some, baby, I'm in love. And every time I make you come, I'm in love. what I did was a nice workout and continue to go up the mountain and did a nice peaceful meditation and yoga set only because you have to do that in the times that we're living in right now everything is going on so much uncertainty going on and especially with me coming into a new circle with a new bunch of people that I don't know and I'm new to this whole you know reality series type of thing so I had to get my mind right and get my aura right because you know one thing about me my facials, I can't control them as much as I can control my mouth. He don't know it might be on the night. Oh, he looking good and he talking right. He the type that might change my life. Every time he look at me, my girls be like, that one may be the one tonight. But I'm really glad you came because I got some things to tell you. So I'm trying to work on my business that I got going on right now. And I really need your help with ideas and situations and events. I know you got the connections. I know you got whatever. Hi, guys. I am here. It's me, the warrior team model, the boss model, Gerald. I am here, y'all. We don't want to talk about me, of course, duh. <laughs> but I'm trying to really get my fragrance off the ground and I just need a little help. I don't know where to go, where to start, who to go to. 
and start from, from what? Do I get logos? What do I, what do I start with? Okay, um, first things first, do you have a company name? Yes, I definitely want to, definitely got that. It's going to be the Gerald Wallet Collection, meaning it's going to have, I want to have men and uh, women fragrances. Not necessarily perfume, like misses and oils, and I want to make sure I get it in at that. I haven't seen my mom in a long time. Um, it's always been me and my mom. I'm the oldest out of three. I got two sisters, and I put my mom. Um, so I want to invite my mom out because my mom has businesses. She has... LLC. She's been doing her thing. She works with a, a bunch of celebrities, a bunch of entertainers, uh, a bunch of people, period. She does a lot of prom, uh, promoting, marketing, um, a lot of giving back. She has her own boutique as well, her own website as well. So my mama's doing it right now. So of course I want to follow my mama's footsteps to be an entrepreneur. So I got a, a Facebook messenger, an email, whatever from Gerald Wallace second hmm. talking about bro I miss you what's up when we gonna get you. together and I'm like I love you I'm like who is bro the boat was not sailing the boat was staying still because I didn't know what to do I mean when he called I mean it was some excitement to finally talk to my father you know um I'm like my mom don't even like you my grandma don't like you my grandma hates you since you were one or two, I see like you ain't trying to reach out, you ain't trying to come see if you were alive and you were living, you was more worried about the child support that I received. They took from your taxes. I need a child support money because I don't give a dang how old I am, 31 years old, 40, 50, 60 years old, I still need that money. And he's still behind. I was hoping the stimulus would have came, but uh, I guess uh, he didn't get the stimulus. I need to call the IRS. Can you issue his stimulus, please? Can we do something? We find my dad? Because I need that money. But anyway. I had to find him. He ain't lost. I guess. <laughs> I like he ain't lost. It's like, what do I do? But it's like so crazy because it's like I haven't had him in my life for so long. It's just me and you, my sisters. And my grandparents, so it's just like it's been a hard time. And then being a gay man, and especially look at the, we're, it, we, what we're living in now. In 2020, we are living in like a history. Literally, we are in history right now, and I don't have my father to be there. And I feel like us black men need to come together because this is we're dying off True. quickly. And I have health issues. And, and it's like, I don't understand, like, I could have died, I could have died a couple months ago, I, I got nine lives, I could have died a couple of times, you have not been there. Do I hate him? No. I mean, it, it is what it is. Um, well, it's one of those things where you want to be there, you know, like, I've never stopped him from being a part of your life, that's just something he chose not to do, and he chose not to try to find you. Um, he was able to find me when they issued that large child support check that they had been trying to issue. Of course, so they go when they try to give out money. Then, but why haven't you been able to reach out and find? I was been on Facebook for a while. You were on Facebook for a while. But it's okay. It gives me motive. Like it gives me motive. Like I need to do this by myself. I need to do. I don't need him. And it's, it's so crazy because us black men think we need our fathers or whatever. Some of us do. I mean, and it's sad because I wish I had mine. But I don't. But it's like, at the end of the day, I feel like you did a, a great job at what you did with me and my two sisters. So I could care less about if I need him or not. But my thing is, as a man, I feel like I still should have him in my life. Had, would things would have went differently? Uh, probably not. Because I don't even, he, he, his, he mm -hmm. so lost I mean, somewhere in, in the sauce somewhere. Un unfortunately, I didn't make um, wise decisions at the age of 16. Um, but I don't. the crayon box that he is a part of doesn't exist. I mean, you know me. I almost lost my life a couple of times during a couple of things. So I'm grateful. But I want to talk about more like that. I want to talk about us black people, men and women, becoming our own entrepreneur, men and women. You know what I'm saying? On our own business. And I would love if you would come and speak to the kids, help me do the school drive, and let them know that you've been in the business game for 20, 25 years in the business game. You had your own foster care, you had a daycare center, and daycare center, you doing great. And that's when that mama right there, I'm like, my mama is doing it. And that's what, I was like, I gotta become a business person. I need to become my own person. I need to make my own money and do this. I can't keep working for that middle man person no more. Make my own money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, got to. You know, and that's why I wanna get sure. back to whatever we sell in my fragrance, I want to donate 
percentage a, of it. So a, you just gotta find the organization or even a bottle. And, and how they, eh, more like a percentage. The bottles, you gotta be careful with the perfumes and donating that out um, because of, you know, allergies and skin sensitivities and things like that. But taking percentages and finding a cause that you would like to donate to, get into the schools can be very interesting. Um, it may have to be more so maybe a um, after school program or a boys and girls club. Um, and the reason, or a private school, the reason being is getting the school system now is really hard because of everything that's been going on, you know, people are going, um, shooting up the schools and doing mm -hmm. all that crazy stuff. Yeah. So now it's, they make it harder for people to come in to the schools and even help. So it might have to be more so an after school program. Maybe yeah. look up some boys YMCA's and girls, or boys, boys and girls, boys clubs, and girls community clubs, clubs, something like that. Community centers and kind of speak with them and you know tell them go in, see if you can speak to the director, tell them what you want to do. Um, and then they'll be able to set that up with you. You just got to find one wherever the location you want to be in and just start calling around. Um, basically, if you're trying to reach um, a variety of people, that's going to be kind of hard. Like, you're probably going to do more so inner city. Yeah. Um, this is, it's something to get back because this pandemic has really took the kids away and especially the kids that didn't get to graduate this year and they have a prom because I almost Ooh. didn't go to prom and y'all pushed me to go to prom. So well, this yeah, is. I would have had a graduation. I don't know. We would have been in jail because we would have been at the school on the stage. I'm from all the way from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, roll tide. And being a transgender in Tuscaloosa is not hard, but it's not easy. Um, it just depends on you. If you let people get to you, that will get to you. So you got to have the mind frame and the mind city to do that. My nightlife, I have to have my hair, makeup, everything done. My hair has to go with my clothes. Like what? It depends on what I wear. How I will wear my hair. My makeup is depends on what I want to go for. If I'm going for a classy look, wild look, or more for just the everyday look. It just depends on. The look that I'm going for now is like a more classy look because I have the shimmery eyes or whatever. Hey, who the height of this boy? Like he really be stepping that boy. He a bitch and he jack out of weapon. But they catch a body, we stepping up place. And I put that on A if he paid to his chest. I won't do all that typing and know I'm not arguing. Bitch, fuck all that this and pull up and we spark it. I'm thinking I'm missing, we sushi like hard. We got body for bite, we done whacked out our targets. You fuck with my every pop plug get the squeeze. I'm a fool with this stick, I'm a dude in my chair. I done caught me an eye in my chest with a beat. I got A, we a tap, bitch, we blitz for no reason. Like when he turned tough, he got punked in the bleach. Had niggas so such trying to hide behind teachers in school. I was here, they were calling me. I was packing the push behind, they came asleep and kicked out of the F. I was thugging too hard. I don't care who you is, so you better act hard, bitch. I'm really a step, I'm stumping the yard. Greetings, everyone. I'm Jerome. I'm a tennis instructor. I'm a certified tennis instructor with the U.S. Professional Tennis Association. Um, I've been training in tennis, uh, honestly, since I was in high school or college. You still and I put that on hood, I'ma crash with my ears. So don't think that you good, me and Sleepy gon' blow me like Tupac and shoot. If I said it, I mean it, now what you gon' do, bitch? I'm clutching the Glock, I'ma squeeze it at two. But I heard he a rat, Sleepy told me about two, so it's fucked that little nigga, he not with my crew. And them niggas that bug and they scared of my brother, we gon' hit all the time, but this shit like no other. If you play with my brother, leave you in the gutter, get smacked on the cow, I put that on my mother. I was cool in there forever, but they put out the I've been a trainer for a while, I didn't realize that it would manifest in my life as it has. Afforded me these opportunities that I have, particularly me. I'm going to be on Bravo next month um, on Very to Medicine, training some ladies in tennis. So, who knew that my passion could take me? Um, as far as we like, we got body for body, we don't wait on top. Everything I say be the truth, and you know it. And that little nigga pussy, he not going to blow. Why he claiming the rack? He a fight, and they know I'm the king of these rack. Do you want me to show? Let me send a little. I remember it was the year 2000, um, or either 2001. I know I was like 10 years old. And I remember seeing Serena, and she was playing. And I was like, wow. It was almost as if the crowd was cheering against her, but it was like it fueled her. And my background from high school and before is in soccer. I didn't even pick up a tennis racket until I was in high school, which surprised me. Now they trying to derive what they know with my team. We the youngest who pop and we are at the scene. Oh, with the pop, take them right out the mouth. Put that on my kids, but you know I ain't cap. I'ma stay what I said and they know what I'm about. Bitch, I stay as he's dragging my son from the side. Got two baby eight, so just know I won't play. He just spoke on my son when I catch him, he late. Could've been got him gone, but be patient. Why he 
can't cut it on that small little mag and be say, bitch, hey, nigga. You niggas is lean as a guy. Fitty guy, I'm crazy. 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 Oh, okay. I told him. <laughs> I appreciate it, I guess. <laughs> Anybody else was behind you, little shit? Yeah, somebody was, right, somebody was right behind me and said they was overdressed. So I guess yeah. right. The first thing that I had saw was Apollo, and he had that sweater on. And I was just thinking about what time of year it was, and he had this thick ass black sweater on, and I'm just like, he not hot? And I'm in shorts and a t-shirt, and I'm sweating, because I, I work out a lot, so I, I sweat profusely. Anybody, you can ask anybody that I know, I sweat during the warm-up. Out of how many? Out of how many? I think it's about six, seven. Yeah, I think it's about six, seven. Yeah, I think it's about six, seven. Eight? Eight on. But, um, yeah, my ass been sitting here feeling like a piece of that chicken over there on that table, I'm gonna have his hair I feel like I'm going to cool off by now. Child, I feel like I'm over here. Hello, Hello, how, how you, you doing? doing? I'm good, how are y'all? I'm fine, I'm on time. Thank oh, you. So. <laughs> Don't go, go, go. <laughs> First of all, I'm in the ATL and it takes me, I live all the way in Buckhead and it takes like 30, 40 minutes to get a freaking lift. First of all. I, 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 feel, I feel you. I'm a bankhead. Oh, okay. So, no. Yeah, I'm a bankhead. It is traffic I'm everywhere. I get, I get so tired of Atlanta. I'm so done. How you doing? Hi, how are you? I'm Jerome. Jerome? Yes. Jerome. Jerome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I am not a really good one. My thing is that I'm about to come in there for the first time meeting people that's supposed to be from Atlanta. I gotta look like something because the girls is about to come because it's Atlanta that gay guy that about to come look like something. I overdressed to completely. I thought I was going to a job interview. I would have got the job there. So I'm gonna stay away from over there. Are you sure? I'm oh, sure. <laughs> but no, I, I, I smoke weed. Oh, hell, 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 because we, we honestly, especially being a young that's why they don't want us to have these man, manager position. This is why they don't want us being a boss. This is why they don't want us being up there because they know we can do it. And they, they know it's sad because we, I'm, I ain't gonna stop. You could put us in the room with five straight people and five gay people. We play basketball, I bet you we'll win. We're very expressive and very, very competitive. We're very competitive. That's what people forget about us. And I think that's, we still men at the end of the day, so we still got that competitive, you know, don't play that game, don't play no games with me, because I'm ready, baby. Because you know what I'm saying, I can be with you all day, every day. Oh, that's sure. why I said I want to do that advantage and get back to the kids, because like, and also talking to the kids, I want to also let them know that there's six gay people up here with me. So I got invited to meet the group, and though I did a lot of preparation, <laughs> um, I still wasn't quite prepared for what I walked into. We're all here together. Y'all feel you know what I'm saying? And everybody that's who is scared, everybody who's scared to come out of everything. Hello, 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 hello. How y'all doing? Good, how y'all doing? Hi, Jerome, nice to meet you. Hi, Jerome. I don't know where to start. So I walked, let's just say, I walked into the space. Space setting was not fitting for my feng shui. So that just set the tone for me right there because I was ready to go then. When I walked through the door, I was just like, girl, I'm gonna run <laughs> around. <laughs> Sorry, wrong room. But yeah, I, you know, proceeded. Um, did not see Malik there, so I was like, girl, what? I'm gonna dance I'm Apollo. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm Gerald. Good. I'm Gerald. Nice to meet you. Debbie? Xavier. Okay, I'm so bad with names. Zach. Zach. Nice to meet you. Zach Terry. Okay, bad with names. I got an XPM. It's no shade in the problem. It's not like you do. Beyonce. Hi, Beyonce. Nice to meet you. 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 Where you come from? Buckhead. They do have the Norcross. They do have the. Come on, 
you meant, you meant no cross, because they ain't trying to let y'all cross. I ain't got the endo cross, first of all. I'm going to go over there. I'm like, ain't nothing over here. It's except nothing. nail salon. And then I go to Bucky, and there ain't nothing over there for me either. So I'm ready to go back to the ratchet nail. So I'm like, I was going to say, they do everything. I don't even know. Like, I, like, like, I can't remember back then. They're like, the closest one going to get it. Right. I'm not, I don't know what it is. You want me to answer? You don't know who it is. That's why you say, who is it? Hello? <laughs> How are you? Who is it? Yeah, so. You got to unlock the door and say, who is it? You just think it's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> not Atlanta. Hello. 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 I love your shoes. You was getting Thank me the devil with Prada, baby. I love that. Oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I know what you're I was going to say, I hate this. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to lie. That's what it is. So when I got there, and of course I am fashionably late, thanks to, you know, the traffic in Atlanta, I'm still trying to learn my way around the city. Despite me coming here in and out for many years, living here is on a whole different way. <laughs> I'm with the shit. I'm with the shit. I'm with the shit to go. It's like it's about to be. I think it's about to be the club when everybody come together. Okay, so for the man, that's six. We got one more. <laughs> what did you take in attendance or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here, I'm 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 here,
<laughs> he was kind of like taking the initiative, kind of taking the lead on the conversation. Oh gosh, what was his name? Um, Gerald. Gerald. He was really taking like the lead on the conversations and everything. So, um, very interesting guy. Very interesting guy. Sure. Sure. <laughs> so, um, what you Tristan, do? what's your non, what's your non, what's your non Tristan, what's your nonprofit? Sure. Or what's your uh, what's your uh, connection? Ooh. So and who do you, you got food stamps? Do you what's your social security number? Do you got right? Let us know. Pay, 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 pay. <laughs> what else? We need all that. <laughs> we need you down for the um, for the books. Perfect. What else you need? Hey, um, your mama so I call my insurance policy and all that. <laughs> Definitely need <laughs> an insurance policy, okay? <laughs> too much money, too much, too much TV. Uh, uh, so you so a new her, all that stuff. No, let me A curve. That's why I add to these screen print because a lot of people that do t-shirts do not so. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. So I can't sew. I just don't have pictures. Her. Because it's supposed to be ridiculous and shit. Be like, bitch, these are your shirts. You order 250 shirts. These I get are made. You put your little deposit down that one hand on nothing that it costs to make these shirts. No refunds. But that, no, that's the thing. Your deposit ain't shit on what it actually costs to get them shirts made. In the, you know, in the spirit of positivity oh. and us coming together oh. for, I would say, a positive, um, I would say too. You know, no. for a positive vibe or whatever. No, really. I I think we should you know take pray. shot. Her. I think we should what? I was gonna say I think we should pray. <laughs> I still say it. Wait, what? Pray. Still say it. Pray out. I'm already. You know, I'm so I think we should do a group. I think we should do a group prayer too. I think that would be. You know, it. yes. Uh, Listen, I'm not the, with the spirit hear. of positive. I'm not gonna help this group of uh, prayer. Uh, this, Look, yeah. you know, I, I start pouring the alcohol and spirits to pray and shit. Look, oh, not the um, preachers. Not the preachers. Oh, I mean, we all keep the spirit of prayer. Any time, any time to pray for me. It's time to follow him for break. Okay. No, no, no. Well, this is his body. spirits going. And since this is like a well, little well, hour inaugural meeting, okay. I feel like, you Who know, we just... Who gonna pray? Who gonna pray? It gotta be Alabama to win that broken up. Oh my gosh, you being so hostile. He about to... Oh, he doing God. that because he about to lead the prayer. I can do it. Daddy. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. I hope you heard that. Right. Thank you, Daddy. I'll stand all okay. will. Well, uh, I'll stand all will well on the other side of the room. I don't want nobody to get shot. <laughs> you will be the one to get shot. <laughs> no way. <laughs> all right, come on, Malay. Come on, this prayer. But they trying to take, why, they trying to take our experience. In the spirit of positivity, um, you know, I just want to lead us in a closing prayer. Lord God, we come to as humble as we know how, Lord God, asking you and thanking you for bringing us together, Lord God, in divine favor. Why are we doing a prayer? <laughs> what are we doing? Like, we're all about to go to hell, first of all, because what are we doing? Because what, 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 what are we doing? Like, why are we praying? Are we eating? Is somebody getting baptized? What are, why are we praying? I'm still trying to figure out why are we praying? Lord God, we ask that you keep us safe as we part from this space. And we also ask that, Lord, you keep our mind and the positive energy in this room flowing as this project and as this um, circle continue to move forward. Um, and all that I do pray, we agree, such an agreement, amen. 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 Oh, I got one, I got one, I got one. Be for real. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, 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 everybody. And amen, I've heard. <laughs> that was short. Peace and blessings. That was short. Please and right. Peace and blessings. Be with us all. That's it. And we just go close it. The two people that should have been taking the series wouldn't take the series. Apollo, ain't he a preacher's kid? And ain't Tristan, ain't he a part of a, 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 a church that's going down in hell? Like. Yeah. Everybody say her. 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 Before, before we do go, I do want to say, because I just moved here, I am planning a homewarming and a birthday party. My birthday is next month. 
um, July 12th, so I am planning that and I want to take this opportunity to invite everybody here and I'll... Um, Can you send me an email? I will, I there, I will get you the information to you. Um, I'm here for house work. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, make sure they got to bring a gift. A family that prays together stays together, and maybe in this case, a friend group that comes together, maybe we can make some moves together. Who knows? It's real life. It's Coming up on this season life. of Real Life in Philanthropy. Where's all this giving back anyway? Because all I see in this group of gays is the girls are concerned about who has the OnlyFans, who's the escorting, and pretty much fighting, reading, and shaming the girls down from filth. Lord God, we come to as humble as we know how, Lord God, asking you and thanking you for bringing us together, Lord God, in divine favor. I'm so happy, thank you for thank coming you. out. I'm so happy to be in Atlanta. Yes. So I'm here to see who all is truly not for profit. And if they're not for profit, they're for profit. Oh, that's where I found out. Where's your career? Where's your business? Bitch, where's your life? Well, they want to gauge like the community okay. as far as like black queer men yeah. in this whole COVID nineteen yeah. um, dilemma. So, um, yeah, for the kids, um, you know, just kind of basically putting together a projection, like a fun back to school type of thing, even if they're not going all the way back to school. Beyonce, as most of you know me as, but you know. <laughs> To him, after he had came from his wife. But listen, I'm just, I'm, right back down, okay, right back let, back no, I'm just letting yes. you know, no, I'm just yes. letting you know, no, no, yes. no, look, Alright, three, two, one. Oh, 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 Baby, girls wait to get in line for the club. They wait to get in line for church. They wait in line to get shoes. If you're gonna wait in line to get something for free that you did not invest in, I don't see the issue. But get out. Get out right now. I've had this OnlyFans account mm -hmm. for like two years. Okay. But you wouldn't have to report with me. I already know you want to fuck. I'm not doing the OnlyFans video with you. I don't need the money, but I mean, I see the opportunity and the benefit of posting it now. And I just got shaded again. Yeah. I got tried. I tried and I just got shaded once yeah. again. Yeah. Once yeah. again. I you are peasants. Get out of my castle. Control their anger. Get off the street. Whatever it is that they want to do, they can find some type of enjoyment through tennis. Holy. I'll be 30. Dirty 30. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jerome is the type of person I'm not going to even invite to a lemonade stand if I had it on the corner. He won't be getting an invite for me. What's up? How you been? I'm good. Ain't seen him forever. I know. Please. I Bad. At all. And not all whites are racist and not all whites are dumb. You know what I'm right. saying? Still need protection in the property, but it's like we can't keep fighting each other because the police is not going to come if we keep fighting each other. Getting tired of you. Because all you fucking do is fucking okay. run your mouth. You're living in an apartment with no furniture. You have a blow up mattress in your living room. Sometimes I do worry about you. Okay, if I'm fucking for money, you get my head and you get my ass. So bitch, you finna get my money. Hey, man, first. You're joking. Uh, Jay-Z. Oh, oh, oh. She was candy, baby. She was laying her ass. She was like, hey. Let me see. Let me see. She had a phone, too. Let me see. All the way up. This is the second one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What? I'm not gonna entertain this. I'm not gonna entertain this. I'm going to tear you up. I'm not gonna entertain this. I swear to God. I swear to God. I'm going to tear you from limb to limb. I swear to God. Again with the threat. What the fuck is going on? Why would you tell people that?
real life What you gotta say, ain't no games being played We on the mission, so it's no tea, no shade